Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Trace video, and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 22. Today we're going to be doing another of the MotoGP Academy, right here in Le Mans, with Johan Zarco. Now I'm going to give a good couple of times of attempts going into specific corners and specific sectors, just so I can give you guys a pointers and some advice on how to get the goal times in each of every single sector. So for the first sector, very, very difficult one, so get the intro done with and let's start breaking it down for you now. So on the straights, we're going to be charging down to the straights as we go a little bit to the right hand side and just gradually bring the analog stick into the right hand side, keep bringing it over and then slowly apply the brakes, nice and gentle, nice control. You want to hit the apex of turn three into the right hand side for turn four, quick upshift to third gear, Ooh, a little bit of a wheelie there, that will cost us so we go into the right hand side. When you go into La Chapelle for the sixth corner, you have to ensure that you're carrying the right amount of corner speed. If you brake and you go a little bit too wide and then you exceed track limits, it will not count, so it's very very crucial that you get that part right but into turn three nice and tight to the apex nice and tight to the apex for turn four bring on the power quick upshift into second into third we might not be close enough for this one because you've got to make sure that you break early enough for the sixth corner so once more let's try it again it is a very very difficult section and with me playing a lot of ride four recently i've not quite got the hang of motor gp 22 yet again but now going for a wider line this time to then bring it in nice and tight to the apex of three change the direction nice and fast into turn four and slowly bring on the power sadly not enough but you can see the consistency is still there so we've got to do the same thing but just ensure we can piece it all together so this one this time is going to be my goal lap time so down onto the straight slight twist into the right hand side here gently move the analog stick and now nice and early like and easy like go on the brakes and bring it into the left hand side for turn three Quick change of direction, has got a little bit eager upon the acceleration, but massive amount of speed coming out of the corner there. Much, much better. Perfect entry into the La Chapelle corner, and we have the gold. So now into the right-hand side for La Chapelle for turn six. We're going to be continuing on, but this time with sector two. A very short sector and a very easy sector, dare I say myself. So into Musée for turn seven. Nice and tight to the apex. Slowly, slowly bring on the acceleration, give it everything from uh, D Zarco's Ducati Desmond Sedeci and get across the line for the gold time. So once more, into the right hand side for La Chapelle, trying a wider line this time to try it out. You can try both methods in whichever works for you, but make sure you're braking nice and early before you go into the left hand side for Musée. Run it into the centre, bring it in nice and tight, keep bringing it in, keep bringing it in a little bit too tight as we cut the rumble strip, but still across the line to improve on the sector time. So once more, into La Chapelle, holding a nice lean angle there, going into the middle of the circuit and then bringing it in. Look at the 100 meter marker to your right hand side there, just break a little bit after that, nice and gentle. You can see the graphic in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can see how much brake was being applied, and now the acceleration as we're going to charge down up into Garage Vert. So now into sector three, we're going to be charging down from the Musée and now into Garage Vert, nice and gentle on the brakes went a little bit too tight to the apex there but an innocuous corner such as garage Vey, you need to make sure you get the braking just right and the same can be said for the shimano bus s's coming up now as we brake really early just after the motel sign a little bit too wide there for my liking but we will pull it back in and get across for the sector time so once more into garage vert nice and controlled braking roughly just after the dhl sign maybe a little bit beyond you have to be pretty solid upon their brakes. Now last time around it did use the ride height device but I think it just slows you down so keep an eye on that motel sign, brake nice and early just before it and then bring it in nice and tight to the apex of uh, Shimano Buff and then to the right hand side for turn 10 and that is another goal time. So once more into Garage Vert, braking just at the DHL sign, bringing in nice and tight, can run it a little bit deeper here as I'm going to show you now and then bring on the power coming out of the 8th corner Keep an eye out for the motel sign, you can see it there on your right hand side, see the next one, make sure you brake nice and early just before that sign and get into the left hand side. But I did go a little bit too wide there, a little tiny mistake, but it's still enough to get the gold. So the difficult part then I guess, the autopilot can be an awkward one and this one it does start you in a weird location in Shimano Buff, so just practice on that one for now, but into the left for turn 12, turn 13. And go quite early on the brakes here. I would definitely employ you to go after the shark sign on the left-hand side. 
bring it in nice and tight, run it wide, but don't run it too wide, because get across that white line, and sometimes your lap time will be invalidated. So let's start again from Shimano Buff, coming out of the exit, nice and good from the uh, previous corner, of course. Nice and early on the brakes, so you want to keep it in nice and tight to the blue, and S uh, blue S's, as we run to the middle of the circuit, and now into the middle for turn 12. If you go too tight there, you kind of compromise your exit speed, so be, do be very careful with that corner, but into 13, that is tight as you like, into 14 for record them on, nice and tight once more, bring on the acceleration, bring on the power, cross the line, not quite the gold, so we've got to make sure we get our exit right, I do know we can gain more time in the blue S's, just after the white line, go nice and tight this time around, almost too tight, onto the rumble strip, but now into the left, going in to the tightest part, and then running it deeper, you see there, with running it a little bit deeper, you do lose a bit of time, but with was such a good exit from the blue S's, we're already ahead, and now into record month, di oh, just dipping into the rumble strip, but across the line, we've got the job done. So now it's about piecing it all together, so coming into the first corner once more as we looked at at the beginning of the video, we're going to lean into the right hand side, breaking ever so gently, breaking in, really gentle, really controlled, so we can hit the apex of three, same out of turn four, and then get underneath the Dunlop Bridge for the left hand side for La Chapelle in just a moment's time, breaking just after the corner there, and with breaking in corners like that you have to be calm and gentle with the brakes, if you're slamming on the brakes and locking the front, forget about it, you can't turn in the bike when you lock the front, so you need to be braking roughly 70-80%, any more than that the front brake will lock and you cannot turn the Ducati in anywhere. So braking at the DHL sign, a lot of rear brake as well, a lot of front brake, went a little bit too gentle on the brakes that time around, but coming into garage vert, we're pretty good. We do have things lined up, even though we had a little wheelie coming out of the corner. Keep over to the right hand side, feast your eyes the motel sign, brake nice and early before reaching to that sign, nice and firm on the brakes, bring it into the left hand side for Shimano Buff, change direction nice and early, so you get the bike over to turn 10, brake just after this white line here, or before it, or on it, depending on how and where you like to brake really, it's just if you're a strong breaker, I guess you would probably go a little bit later, but if you want to be nice and gentle on the brakes, go at the white line. But now into the right hand side for 13, a little bit wide there, almost losing the front as a matter of fact, but we go tight to the apex of Recordamon, fire it down to the back straight, and across the line, we have the job done, but we'll do one more lap. So here we go then, back on the straight, a uh, fun fact for you as well guys, I did a video yesterday with the, regarding to the stupidity of the AI in this game, especially with the autopilot. Definitely check it out on the channel if you want to laugh, but going into turn three and now into turn four, nice and tight to the apex. Not quite as clean as consistent as we did on the previous lap, but as long as we piece it all together, that's all that matters. We have the gold right now, but we just want to do another lap just to piece things together. So going into the right hand side for Muse, eyes attention to the 100 meter marker. Break just after that one, Bring it in, nice and gentle, to the left hand side for Muse. Keep on the acceleration here, but be very, very gentle, and then keep an eye out for the DHL sign, break, just as you reach that one, nice and controlled, nice and gentle, tight to the apex for Garage Vert, and keep it in nice and tight once more, coming out of the 8th corner. Bring on the acceleration if you want to use the ride height device, obviously you go ahead, but I'm not going to use it this time around. Breaking earlier before the motor sign, a little bit out of kilter there, I didn't really feel the confidence on the brakes this time around, so we did compromise a lot of speed going into Shimano Buff, but we still have a chance of getting into the goal lap time once again. So into the blue S's, very strong. Into the left hand side for turn 12, keep it in, keep it in, nice and tight, gentle with the left analogue stick, I cannot reiterate that enough for this video as we go into the right hand side for 13, right hand side for 14 for Recordamon, bring on the acceleration, bring on the power, and that is the job done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it's helped, if it has, let me know in the comments section down below, got a lot more of these to do, so definitely get subscribed so you can watch the rest of them very, very soon. So guys, thanks for watching as always, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.